Hi everyone, today we're going to do our Guelph Griffin, Griffin preview for the OUA football season. We're filming this after their first game when they beat the Wolford Laurier Golden Hawks, but they still have seven games left, so here's what our thoughts on the team this year. Right, with me is Joe Camilleri. We're going to start at quarterback where they bring back Jazz Lindley. Jazz Lindsay is going to be the quarterback of this team. They still got a little bit of uh, depth at quarterback. Uh, Jazz Lindsay is the, the, the number one. Uh, short yardage man, uh, Nagel, he comes in on short yards. He's a capable backup, though. I believe he's a fifth-year man. So he, uh, Griffins are very solid at the quarterback position for the next couple of years with Lindsay behind the, behind center. And then we move on their offense. Probably the position they got the most depth in town, that's running back. Running back, you have uh, all-star uh, Rob Farkasen. He's the uh, he's the uh, the senior man on that on that uh, running back uh, depth chart. He missed the first week though, but he should be healthy, possibly for the the Windsor Toronto game. The thing I the thing I read uh, is uh, with the way that Johnny Augustine played yesterday, he had over a hundred yards. He uh, they can they can let Farkasen's injury heal a hundred percent. There's no need to rush him back. Um, they also have uh, Corey Davidson, I believe, as a, a fifth year man at running back. And they have uh, a blue chip prospect, uh, Mason Swift. Top uh, running back recruit this year. Yeah, so uh, the, I think the Griffins are real deep at running back. I think that's going to be uh, one of the strong points uh, on the team this year. We move now to the wide receivers, where they're led by a pair of fifth-year receivers. Uh, uh, Jazz Lindsay's brother, Saxon Lindsay. He's a fifth-year man. They also have Dylan Dimitrov. They have a couple young receivers up and coming. Uh, Alex Charette, they have a hometown, uh, hometown Guelph kid, uh, James Ingram. Also, uh, return specialist, uh, Dre Fraser is there as well. Again, uh, the Griffins very deep on offense this year. All right, let's move now to the offensive line. We're there led by, well, a likely first round pick in the CFL draft, Jake Pietrano, Pietras? Uh, Pietrowski, Jake Pietrowski. He's coming off uh, surgery. He got hurt at the, uh, the, the East-West Shrine game. Last year he missed all last season. He comes back. The Lions gonna uh, Lions gonna be a strong point for the Griffins this year. They have uh, another fifth year guy, Cam Thorne, that's there. Uh, Cody O'Neill at center. Uh, Matt Nesbitt. I also like uh, Kyle Audette Fraser in the mix there as well. I think uh, didn't show so much yesterday versus Laurier, the 21-7 win. But I think uh, uh, most people know offense takes a little bit more time to get. Uh, Going then defense with a short training camp this yes. year. The season starting earlier. Very short training camp, only ten days this year. Mm -hmm. I think this offense will 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 uh, will uh, only get better as the as the year goes on. I think it's, uh, Todd, it's going to start peaking around that Mac game. That's right. I like Todd Galloway. He's a young up and coming coach. Very uh, very. Um, he's got. Uh, I can't think of the, the word I'm thinking of. It's just escaping my mind. But very creative. He's a very creative guy. Uh, I think this offense, like I said, week four, if they're, they're hitting on all cylinders by week four versus Mac, they'll, uh, they'll be uh, ready to go. Let's move now to the defense, which is the biggest question for this team, as they've got to replace a bunch of stars who graduated. Uh, yeah, defense, uh, if you start with the secondary, um, four, four of the five guys that play, uh, started last year are gone. Uh, one into a new position, we'll speak on that. When we get into the linebackers, this uh, DB core is going to be led by Ian Hutchison. He's going to he's the uh, third year guy. Uh, I also like uh, Jaden Johnson to slowly get into the mix, perhaps. Uh, the one good thing with the DBs, and and I, I've heard this from a lot of people through the city, Coach Greg Butler, uh, the best DB coach, uh, maybe it may, maybe in the CIS. Anybody I've talked to said this guy knows his stuff. Uh, you can you can hand him any player. He's going to turn that player into 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 a great player. So uh, even though the DBs are young, I, I think they're going to improve as the season goes on. Uh, the defense yesterday versus uh, Laurier. I know Laurier has a has a a, a young offense, but uh, they held him to eight first downs, less than a hundred yards total offense. So not a bad start for the defense yesterday. I agree, and now we'll move to the linebackers. We're going to talk where they moved last year's start, starting corner, Mac Myers, to play strong side linebacker this year. We have him in there. Uh, the other linebacker 
I'd like to talk about is third year man John Rush. I think he's going to be the leader of the defense. Uh, Expect both those two players to finish 1 2 in tackles this year for the Griffins. You look at a few years ago where uh, linebacker Jake Reinhardt led the Griffins. They moved him, uh, they moved positions with Reinhardt just so they could get John Rush on the field. They had to find a way to get this kid on the field. He's that good. So they took their, their defensive leader a couple years ago. They switched positions for him. They moved Reinhardt to an outside spot just so they could get Rush on the field. He's that good. He will lead this defense this year. And we look at the defensive line, the Griffins 3-4. There's a couple guys I'd like to talk about. Cam Walker. Uh, big things are expected from him this year. Uh, Third-year man Jeff Finley. He's going to be counted on. Um, defense is going to start with them. They get that good front seven between them and the linebackers. That's uh, where it's going to, going to start this year. Like I said, they had a great opening day yesterday. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher test next week versus Windsor. We'll uh, talk about Windsor when we do our CIS preview a little bit later. But uh, Griffins, uh, I like the Griffins to go anywhere from five and three. Maybe I like them actually more six and two, seven and one. I like the schedule they have. I like them to uh, to win at home next week versus Windsor. I like them to win at Toronto, even though they struggled there the last time they went there. I believe they did lose that game. I like them to uh, win homecoming game versus McMaster. Especially with the extra capacity with the high tie cats in town, the Griffins Stadium has been expanded from three to 7,000 to closer to 14,000 now. So expect a lot of fans, and it's going to be a very big home crowd advantage for the Griffins this year. The, the one thing that uh, I remember, I, I believe it was a, a couple years ago when... Uh, McMaster played the homecoming game at Guelph. It was without Kyle Quinlan, and McMaster came and went. I'm not sure if it was the homecoming game or not, but I remember Marshall Ferguson from McMaster coming in, uh, beating Guelph in Guelph. Well, again, we'll talk about McMaster a little bit later on. After the MAC game, I like Guelph to go to Waterloo. They'll win that game. Uh, they play York after that. They'll win that game. And then they go into Queens homecoming. That's going to be a tough game for them. That could go either way. Uh, and then they finish at Carleton. Uh, Carleton hasn't played yet. They were the only team that did not play this weekend. So don't know too much about them. Uh, but I like Griffins to win that one. So we're looking at Griffins 6-2, and 7-1. and one. They'll make the playoffs again this year. They'll keep the, uh, the trend going from last year. I like the way the team shapes up. Offensively, they're going to get better as the season goes along. Same thing with defense. The team's only going to get better as they gain more experience. Again, another playoff uh, playoff run for the Griffins this year. Hopefully another yeah, Yates Cup appearance, and uh, maybe they will pull it off this time. And that is our Guelph Griffin preview.